Halo Infinite just concluded its possible final beta test before its release on December 8th. While 343 were watching closely and monitoring services and making sure the stress test was going well, players were getting to try their hands on the new big team battle and arena modes coming on release. Some people were being nitpicky and looking at the fruit physics, the tire physics, etc. While the majority of people were experiencing something we had almost missed since Halo 3. And that is having fun. Quick reminder that if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified whenever I post a video. If you look at any major headline on Infinite, you'll notice pretty much all of them mention the word fun in them. Well, that's because it is where Halo Infinite's BTB mode shines the most. It's just fun. While it isn't fun getting 3-0'd in CTF or getting absolutely drained by a squad, Halo Infinite gives us a variety of weapons and vehicles to use at our disposal to really work with. Not just opening one of the two loot vaults located on the map, it's a pelican dropping a ghost, banshee, or even a freaking tank on the battlefield to really change things up. Some games are pure and absolute carnage. The map design we have seen so far makes BTB really shine. Lots of routes to pick from, to certain elements being put into place, to being used by certain equipment, it leads to a chaotic, overall, balanced good time. While I should also mention the towers on each base shooting off after gaining a certain score or capturing a flag or even getting a point in total control adds a Bro, nice element of feeling like you are on this halo ring with like, these mega forerunner structures I beside you. I find myself staring whenever one goes off just to be amazed by how good it looks shooting through the thick layer of fog and clouds overhead. A fine detail. Power weapons drop on the map as well in Halo 2 style drop pods that open up when you get close to them giving you a curious thought to which weapon it could be as you get closer and pretty much making you pick it up every time as I notice with myself doing. Feels as when it drops closer to your base, it's more of a longer range weapon like a sniper or even a skewer. The vehicles at play feel satisfying. Not too overpowered and put in its place as being better than a player running solo infantry, but not overpowered where three to four people couldn't take you down with different grenades, power weapons, or even equipment. Especially a well-placed grapple shot that could easily hijack you, or skyjack you in Halo Infinite. The vehicles don't feel too heavy, but also don't bounce too much, although the Warthog at turns and corners feels a bit tipsy, especially when the enemy shoots out one of your tires. It still is just fun. What makes Halo Infinite really shine in its BTB and arena mode is the equipment. I never thought I could make as crazy plays in Halo without my Spartan abilities I had from Halo 5, but I was wrong. Equipment brings Halo to life again for making crazy never before seen clips and plays. Using the repulsor to push me over a group of enemies and coming out nowhere to only get a triple kill on them from the sky is really satisfying. Using the grapple shot to swing like Spider-Man and then skyjack an enemy is something exciting and game changer with the planning you would need to do to pull it off. Equipment brings so much variability into the mix where people will come up with plenty of ways to use them in the coming months after launch or even heck, on release date, as we've seen in the last two weekends, people have been doing some crazy plays so far. All of these aspects bring Halo Infinite to life in ways we never imagined and only have seen recently, like a loot vault from Apex, but now in a team-based arena mode of big team battle and freaking Halo. Never imagined it and I'm glad it's in now. Halo Infinite really turned heads after not knowing what the game would have looked like and fear of another delay, but 343 really nailed the core of this game. Almost everyone agrees with. With more tweaking of features and bugs and polish, this game will truly be a masterpiece. Halo brought back the fun we have seemed to miss all these years and I'm glad we're getting it back. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like to show you enjoyed it, and hit subscribe if you're new here, and hit the bell for notifications on each video I do. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.